Hey guys, it's Apollo and Synergy from Razer Gaming. Hi yeah, guys. And we're back with our fifth tutorial in which we'll cover some uh, more machinery related to the mechanisms pack. In this one, we'll, I'll show you how to make and how to use a combiner, a platinum compressor, and a basic smelting factory. So to get on with the tutorial, just like I said, uh, it's more mechanism machinery. The first thing we'll show you how to make is the combiner. And the items required are redstone times 10, platinum ingot times 8, iron ingot times 2, cobblestone times 4, and steel ingot times 9. Now, in the previous tutorial, I've mentioned that we'll start making these a bit shorter. So we've started doing that now. We'll show how to make the control circuit because we haven't made many of those before. So just to, guys, just to uh, help you guys get your head around those, uh, it's a very simple recipe. Just put a, a platinum ingot on top, left, right, and bottom. An enriched alloy, which I won't show you how to make because we've covered those many times before in the middle. But that makes us a uh, control circuit. Uh, and then just to make the combiner, you'll require the rest of the ingredients that we told you. So you've got the cobblestone, redstone, steel block. Again, not going to make show you how to make those because it's a very simple thing. We've done it many times. So you should know how to do that by now. But uh, the recipe would be cobblestone in the corners, control circuit at the top and bottom, redstone on the left and right, and steel block in the middle. And that makes us a combiner. This is what the uh, finished product looks like. The next item on the list would be the platinum compressor. And the items you'll require are redstone times 12, iron ingot times 2, platinum ingot times 8, glass times 2, and steel ingot times 9. So uh, again, we've shown you how to sh sh we've shown you how to make the control circuits just now. Uh, we've shown you how to make a steel block before. It's very simple stuff. Uh, so I'm not going to go through any of those again. I'm just going to show you how to make this thing. So the steel block goes in the middle, control circuit top and bottom. Glass will go on the sides and the redstone goes in the corners and there you go, you've got a com uh, platinum compressor and here is the finished product. And now to move on to the basic smelting factory. Uh, the reason this station is so small is because we, all the components that go into the basic smelting factory, we've shown you how to make many times before. So uh, I'm not going to cover those again, but I will tell you is just uh, what raw materials you require to make everything. So the items you require to make all the components that go into the basic smelting factory are the redstone times 24, iron ingot times 6, platinum ingot times 16, gold dust times 2, and steel ingot times 9. So if you look at this chest, this is what the recipe looks like. You're going to need, to, from all those raw materials, you're required to, you'll be required to make four control circuits and two enriched alloys, as well as a steel block. But like I said, we've already showed you how to make those many times before, just to save you guys from having to watch us do this stuff over and over again. Uh, this shortened it a lot. So the recipe goes something like this. There you go. So you've got the control circuits in the corners, enriched alloy top and bottom, steel ball goes in the middle, and steel dust goes on the sides, and that makes a basic smelting factory. And this is what the uh, finished product looks like. So just a quick demonstration how to use this machinery. As you can see, I've plugged them in into our advanced solar generators, um, just to show you that they do work with these things. I mean, it, the uh, they do have a power output of 120 volts. So any of the uh, power sources that we have shown you in the previous tutorials will work when it comes to powering the, this machinery. But uh, to start off, we'll go with the combiner. Um, so what the combiner actually does, it, it combines dust and cobblestone, uh, sorry, ore dust and cobblestone to create blocks again. So ore blocks. So I'm, gonna, I'm just going to demonstrate with cobblestone. It does work with more, but what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do is just going to put a list below in the description below uh, to show you what it can actually make. So here we're going to show you how you can make a platinum ore block. Luckily it doesn't make a horrible noise this time, like some of the other machinery does. But as you can see, I've made a platinum ore block. And that's what the uh, combiner does. Uh, the next thing, I'll show you how to make the, uh, how to use the platinum compressor. Now, as you can see, if Synergy moves out of the way, um, Sorry. is if you, um, if you look at these two machines, they are very similar. The main difference is that the compressor, uh, sorry, the combiner, has got a much larger black area here at the front and this one's just got like a little line. So that's just the uh, that's the best way to uh, tell between them. But what the uh, platinum compressor does, I'm going to have to grab some more materials here. I'm going to need platinum ingots and glowstone. Um, it basically allows you to make some of the more rare and more unusual ingots that are in this mod pack. So what you require is platinum ingots that always go on the bottom, and then you can make obsidian, 
uh, obsidian ingots by just putting the obsidian dust in there. The way you create dust is um, the obsidian dust is just by putting into the uh, enrichment chamber, just like we've shown you. I think it was the first tutorial. But as you can see, in a minute, it does this one doesn't make a horrible sound. There you go. You've got obsidian ingots. I'm just gonna move that quickly. Um, it's getting dark. Could you? There you are. Thank you very much. Uh, it does also work with glowstone, which is also one of the ingots in this game. Which uh, I'll show you how that makes that. I'm just gonna back up a bit because that makes a horrible sound. It does. Uh, what well, annoying thing about this machinery? Sometimes when this bar, which is basically powering it, using the platinum ingots, when that sometimes runs dry, it resets the process. It's a very annoying bug more than anything. So hopefully they'll fix that as well. But as you can see, I've made a glowstone ingot. Uh, which these are just some of the rare ingots that are required to make some more complicated things later on into the gameplay. So the final bit of machinery we'll show you how to use is the basic smelting factory. As you can see it's got three slots so you'll be able to do three things at once. Um, what I've discovered earlier today as well is that in previous tutorial I've mentioned that you can only turn steel dust into, um, into ingots. Which isn't the case, but I found out earlier today was that you can turn steel dust, gold dust, iron dust, and platinum dust into um, into ingots. So I'm going to show you now. Put them in there, and as you can see, it's actually making the uh, making them into ingots. But this can turn any sort of ore uh, into into ingots. Uh, I'm going to put a more detailed list in the description below the video. But as you can see, it's making it from the dust. So uh, ignore that first comment I made in the first video. As you can see, it does uh, more or more dusts can be turned into ingots. But uh, that concludes this tutorial, where we cover these three machines. The, uh, you've got the platinum compressor, you've got the combiner, and you've got the basic smelting factory. If you like this tutorial, make sure you uh, rate, you comment, and subscribe, and uh, stay tuned for more. And uh, hopefully we'll see you guys soon. Thank you for watching.